a little nervous to come down here this morning. Uh, I am just hoping for no dead lambs. I am... We're running all sorts of scenarios as to what it could be that killed them. Because it's... It, it's it's nothing we've had where they split them open so I don't it really does look like they got cut I just don't have a clue are you kidding me apparently the moms have figured out how to get out of that pen now so that's fun well First off, I don't see any magpies this morning, which is always a plus. They're the first things to come in and, oh, I lied, there's one. All right, let's go check lambs. This right here is my favorite site. Sheep are calm, they are content, and no babies. At least none that I can see from here. I think we may actually, finally, officially be done lambing. Granted, I still have like another 10 days, but here's hoping. So, um, yes, we did have deads at the barn, but they were not cut open. Uh, it looked like, so last night it got down to about like 34, 33 degrees. I don't remember exactly. And I'm thinking that they played King of the Hill on one another, piling up together close enough to stay warm. And it looks like they were just laid on. I mean, it looks like they laid down and died, which means they were probably piled on top of. So another disadvantage of having lambs in spring. I'm Spring just brings its own, winter is hard, but spring brings its own slew of problems. I thought that was a lamb, but I think it's just the ewe's head over the top of the other ewe's back. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think that was the issue with them because they look perfectly fine, per perfectly healthy. They're not you know, they aren't skinny. They aren't, they don't have poopy butts. They, they literally just look like they laid down and died. So, and of course, all three were you lambs because that's my luck. So yeah, that's disappointing. And it, it's another one of those frustrating factors of having sheep. some good to it because I don't remember them flowering this much the last couple years this red one here was like bright bright red just the other day so uh, yeah we'll see what we get this year I realized as I was editing this that um I never told you about the moose that lived here all winter. So let me just put in right here what we recorded over the winter. Donkey. 
I do. I hope he came with horns and he left him here. I hope he sticks around all summer. He won't, though. Mm. He'll travel the creek and head either down to the canyon or, or back up, back to, the up to the mountains. Right here. Hey, Bubba. What you doing, old man? It's not the same one? Nope. That one's younger. That one doesn't have a beard. Uh-uh. At all. Nope. He's a lot younger. It's smaller. Yep. Where'd you come from, dude? No, I seriously, I thought it was a horse out. So there's another moose, and it's right here at the barn. And it's a young moose, it has zero beard at all. No belt of a, it might be a female, but it's. Freaking awesome is what it is. It's got a little bit of the, uh, oh shit. Never mind. there's his beard. He just dropped it, so it is the same one. How the hell does that happen? I don't have a clue. Can he's, they suck it up inside him? He sucked. It was clear up inside of him. Yeah. Yeah, he's freaking. But he's right here. I mean, like, like, 40 feet from us. <laughs> no, he's right below Michelle's house. He'd come in on he'd come in on the low road. He's eating eating uh, what do you call it? Olives. Olive olives. Yep. Yeah, we want. I'm sitting on my front porch. There's the mausoleum. There's my sidewalk. There's my foot. There's my moose. Seems kind of odd. Don't know what to call him. I'm guessing anyone and everyone would just call him Bowwinkle. sure how I got a moose but apparently this moose likes us here because he's been living here since about Christmas time just hasn't came quite this up close and personal till today prune them for us. Maybe. Well, he's got a big old set of nuts hanging down too, don't he? We knew he was a boy. Hey, dude. Eggs. There's one there. And I can't focus through the bars, but there's another one in the back. Is that it? Just two? I'll take it. Oh, there's one more. 
right, and it still won't focus, hold on. That makes me so happy, and this one is still warm. It just got laid. Yay, we have quail eggs. I'm telling you, they are better than chicken eggs, but it takes a lot of them. This is my reality right now. I have sheep everywhere because they are out of feed in that pen, so they are just wandering all over the farm. And I can do nothing about it until I bring in the fence from out back and fence off the triangle. So yeah, there's that. Trailer hooked up, lambs inside, stuff for sheep. Husband. Stay off. <sighs> Naughty dogs. Uh, yeah, we are taking lambs over to Skip's to eat up his little pasture. So we, I think we have 15, 15 or 16. <sighs> she doesn't listen. Um, that we're going to take over there, including Al, because we, why not? Uh, and then, but we need to fix fence around it first and then we'll, we need to do tails on the ewes and give them their vaccinations and then we can let them out and they can have a ton of grass. And tomorrow we are selling pretty much every single ram lamb we have because they need to go. All done. Got all the use. And poor Al. He's gonna hate us. <laughs> so the blood you see, we she won't stand still. Let's see on her. We do their ears. Actually, he doesn't seem bothered by it. He's just standing there. There'll be plenty of feed in here, so we brought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we did bring fifteen, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sixteen. Sixteen with Al. So yeah, they'll be good. You probably could have brought a bunch more. Yeah, I, we probably could. And we still could tomorrow. Yep. There's quite a bit of grass out here. More than I thought there was. I was just scared of it getting ate down too fast. Good morning. It's sale day. And I'm not 100% sure exactly how many we're going to be taking. Um, I'd like to take every single boy we have, but we have some that are still a little meh, iffy. So, we'll see, but let's go load them up. Yeah. Uh. Okay, already, we're only taking 17. Not as many as I was hoping, but it'll still get a few out of here. Hopefully two more weeks we will be able to take hopefully the rest of them, but I don't know. There's some that are pretty small still. So we'd like for them to uh, grow a little bit more, I guess is the best way to say it. 
Uh, there's some of the old, or some of the last stuff born, so they don't quite have the weight on them that we'd like. But they'll get there, just a little slower than this group. Now we just hope we don't wait in line for two hours like we did last time. Actually, made pretty good time. We're only like five back, I think, yep. rather than a mile back. Our turn to unload. Wasn't actually as bad a wait as it could have been. So it took us about 45-ish minutes from the time we got here till unloading. Sure beats last time. a few more to bring over to Skips. Yeah, they're happy little sheep. <laughs> hey sister, you coming this way? Hi! You guys are looking good. Good morning. I keep hoping it is going to warm up enough for me to plant. But the nights are kind of scaring me because we're still in the 30s. So uh, let's go check sheep. We had a little bit of a tragedy yesterday. My daughter unplugged the light so that she could plug in the compressor not realizing the light was on. So we lost um, quite a few of our chicks. Rams, it'll make them friendly. <laughs> Glenn. Friendly rams. Yeah, my good Glenn. Even Sturgeon wants attention. Finn, you don't like us near as like you used to. And my Marlin. My Marlin, who was going to go away because he was a jerk last year, now suddenly wants to be my friend. Glenn's a little jealous. He's mad because I quit petting him. Make his little tail go. Come here, Muffin. Come here, Muffin. Yeah, how's my Muffin? Hmm? You got your tail going too. Finally getting to uh, clean up the remnants of the greenhouse. This is where my window greenhouse is going to go eventually. And we're going to hold, keep these, and make some shelving. Don't know what we're going to do with those. Yeah, it's a work in progress. This is not the ideal situation. In fact, this really makes bad habits. But they're out of feed in their pen. I still haven't gotten the fence for where the lambs are right now. And the lambs are okay over there, but the moms I'm sure will go down into the creek if I try to put them over there. So they're just 
grazing the farm and we're chasing them all afternoon, which is why we haven't gotten anything done. So we have basically just spent the day chasing sheep and cleaning stuff up that really does need cleaned up. But um, yeah, I'm ready to put them up for the night. They're trying to eat my lawn. started to rain. We just brought the lambs in that had decided to take a little tour out back by the pond. I would just rather have them in that field, at least for the night. So hopefully they'll stay put. And I think we're going to go finally bring that piece of fencing in. <laughs> 